Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. Uh, this is a little about the practice of self-mortification or mortification of the flesh, flagellation of the flesh. That's uh, a theme in some of the religions of the world. I just thought I'd explain that um, insult to the body cells whether it be um, through self-mortification or say from a physical accident or an auto accident, even falling down and scraping one's knee in childhood, any kind of uh, injury to the body cells, it, uh, including interior injury like we might consume things such as alcohol or recreational drugs or different kinds of foods that are not appropriate for the optimum function of our physical bodies and these foods might injure our cells as well so um, especially uh, like external wounds like abrasions of the flesh and broken bones and so forth well those aren't external <laughs> <laughs> but also internal wounds, the things that we do to ourselves through the desire to fall asleep and not be aware or to, to please our senses for sense gratification and so forth that, that cause injury to the cells, cause them woe. Um, these sites, uh, specific sites of, of injury to the, to the physical cells uh, are on the astral plane become landing sites for astral malware. So then we become what they call malwared up. So, so in the process of evolution of the soul, it becomes more and more important to treat the body with extreme respect as the temple of God's grace, of what the Christians call the Holy Spirit. And so, and so we practice um, modulation of the diet, uh, optimization of the food intake, and proper hydration. And in addition, we get plenty of rest, just as much as our body needs. And uh, as far as uh, physical welfare is concerned, the last thing that we would think of is mortification of the flesh because that decreases the joy in the body, the joy of the body cells. And it's that joy that leads us onward to soul evolution and the dis great discoveries of the truth of the nature of reality. So, so my suggestion here is set aside these techniques of self-mortification and look to diet and hydration and proper sleep. Um, and then the result will be during the ascension process that, that, it, that there's far less emotional turmoil and mental turmoil and far less uh, physical difficulty than would otherwise be the case. So just now, some people have asked me on the astral plane telepathically why that is. Why should they not mortify the flesh since they're subject to uh, the Achilles heel effects of personality flaws and so forth uh, and repeated habits that are very difficult if not impossible to overcome in physical form and so these people's feeling is that by mortification of the flesh they can um, they can substitute tit for tat they do something that they don't approve of and they're unable to prevent because of personality flaws and then they mortify the flesh by way of reparation by way of making um, making good with God by way of penance alright so so my suggestion is for those that believe in the process of penance uh, that that are, and are unable to overcome it because there are better things better ways to to overcome bad habits, that if you believe in penance, uh, you you do good works or you um, repeat sacred words <clears throat> so as to change the the constitution of the body of 
light away from the dark and into the light so that then we become less prone to, to bad habits. So we're doing something good. We're not punishing ourselves. The, the notion of punishing ourselves to make ourselves better is in itself a very pernicious form of malware. So you could say, in, uh, in the Christian terms, that I believe in grace, and in ascension terms, in the incoming light, and in the philosophy of the Eastern Indian uh, Hinduism, I believe in um, Dharma. Dharma is the opposite of karma. It's the pursuit of the right path. And the right path might include chanting God's name, doing good works, things of that nature. So Dharma is, is, is walking the right path, which in the Indian face they say is as narrow as the edge of a razor. It's that carefully that we must consider our actions and our thought forms uh, in order to walk the right path. And this is in opposition to the concept of karma, tit for tat. Karma, following the law of karma, results in uh, repetitions of the wheel of karma through the incarnations, through the many reincarnations. So, so why do that? Why mortify the flesh? Why cause injury to ourselves and why cause injury to others? You see? Also, in terms of the new DNA, uh, the opening of the DNA of the body cells, um, as you know, uh, love and joy and light are the nature of the universe, of all creation. And it's also these, these are also the nature of the body cells. Uh, unless our body cells are bathed in the emotional energies of love and light and joy. They can't hold the new light and they can't, the DNA cannot open from 2 to 12 strand. It's impossible. So for, for us to survive physically in the new reality, in the new light of Earth, we must cherish and promote uh, the qualities of love and light and joy in this physical form. Every instant, let us consider, what is it that I must do now to bathe my body cells in love and light and joy? You see, it requires um, constant awareness of our emotional state and of physical discomfort so that these may be alleviated and... Uh, and uh, so that the, s the cells can re return suddenly from a damped down DNA uh, holding of light to the greater light that they've now become. And this way we will, um, we will keep our bodies and our emotions, our, all of our subtle bodies also in tip-top form for many years to come. Y'all take care.